For our next exhibition in our eight-part program dedicated to Hannah Arendt's Between Past and Future, we present the sixth essay, The Crisis in Culture. In the essay, Arendt writes that modern art will probably remain the greatest achievement of our age. She believed that the artist, the last individual in mass society, produced the lasting objects to remember past civilizations. In this exhibition, three female artists have been selected for their very precise and politically provocative work, each taking aim at civilization to ensure that what we remember is something worth remembering. In Gallery 1, Pamela Rosencrantz's 2016 sculpture, Pour Yourself, plays on the innocuous everyday act of pouring oneself a glass of water. The work consists of five Evian water bottles on plinths, each containing a precise mix of silicone and colored pigments, and placed underneath perspex hoods for protection, elevating them to the status of the art object by doing so. The Swiss-born artist is famed for her conceptual art practice, which takes aim at politics and contemporary culture, using everyday objects and icons, Evian water bottles, Viagra, ASIC sneakers, to attack capitalism and the impact of human beings on the environment and ecosystem. Pour Yourself is a scathing indictment of the economy of production and the environmental and ecological cost of this ubiquitous consumer product, the water bottle, as she uses it as her ready-made. Gallery 2 contains a salon-style hang of works on paper by Austrian feminist artist Renata Bertelmann. Now in her late 70s, Bertelmann has continuously unpicked the fabric of society, revealing the gender bias, sexism, and ableism present in the contemporary world. Drawing has been an integral part of her practice since 1969, the year in which she produced her first artwork, and it continues to play an integral part. A key focus in character has always been the worm. Her interest in gender and sexual differences is manifest in the worms as hermaphrodites, having both male and female organs. Equally influenced by Thomas Bernhard's play A Party for Boris, which takes place in a home for cripples, and Bertolt Brecht's A Respectable Wedding. Bertelmann uses the wheelchair as a key motif, drawing attention to society's fear of disability and the brutality we can exhibit towards those that are not seen as whole or perfect. In Für Inkenborg Bachmann, 1975, she depicts the great Austrian poet and playwright who died as the result of a terrible accident smoking in bed in 1973. She is here immortalized by Bertelmann. Interestingly, Bachmann, an ardent feminist, was also immortalized by Thomas Bernhard as the poet Maria in his final novel, Extinction. Technically, the drawings are finely executed, drawing with graphite and colored pencil on transparent paper, with thin layers of colored tissue paper cut and laid out underneath to create the larger blocks of color that you see. In the final gallery, we present French artist Annette Messager's Sleeping Songs from 2017 to 2019. A series of wall-based sculptures made from sleeping bags, puffer jackets, and quilts, some of which have black hands protruding from the folds, as though escaping from their cocoon. Beautifully composed, they have a darker side as part of her ongoing criticism and commentary on the European migrant crisis. The artist has made multiple visits to Calais to visit the migrant camps, and by taking this universally familiar item, a sleeping bag, a jacket, and manipulating it into a sculpture to be placed on the white wall of a gallery in Mayfair, she reminds us of the inherent injustices of the world, that where and when you were born can sometimes be an instant death sentence. Arendt said that the last individual left in mass society is the artist, as artists can continuously push the boundaries of what is deemed acceptable. They can criticize and be subversive without the same ramifications of the other individuals, as art is ultimately subjective. This role of art in society, whether painting, sculpture, music, dance, film, drama, is vital to its development and legacy, as it has a unique power to make our world meaningful and truly encourages us to think. On Hannah Arendt, The Crisis in Culture is accompanied by a new sound piece by Brazilian artist and musician Leima Leighton, available to experience via Saltoon Online on the gallery's website.